back with another video this is another get ready with me and in this video I will be doing my makeup and my hair just like the previous one so right now I am doing my eyebrows and I'm using uh, the combination of the elf brow kit and my BH cosmetics palette um, I have a short detailed video on how I do my eyebrows that's my babe <laughs> I always messing with me and now I'm just cleaning up my eyebrows with um that medium brown color in my camouflage concealer palette from BH Cosmetics. And I just do that to both brows. Now, this is the um, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I just applied it to my eyelids for my base and I blended it out with my finger. Now I'm taking my Black Radiance Foundation Powder and Cafe and I use that as my transition color. I use it as a powder and I also use it as a transition color so you will be seeing that twice. Now that's the Nika K uh, pink eyeshadow. It's like a frosty pink. And I'm going to pop that on my lid with a flat eyeshadow brush. Now I'm taking a dark burgundy color from my 5th edition BH Cosmetics palette and um i'm putting it in my transition area it appears that i'm doing a cut crease but that wasn't my plan but then it was and then it wasn't so um if i would have kept all the footage in here this get rid of me would be like 50 minutes long because i was fixing correcting what i had messed up because like you can even see right there on one side that so-called cut crease is higher than the other but anyway now I am taking my blending brush and I am blending it out upward still kind of have that cut crease effect but um, later on in the video you'll see that I corrected it I'm taking my party girl palette and my hand is in the way but it is a shimmery brown color that I'm using to put right up under that burgundy color kind of sort of trying to fade out that harsh line that make, makes it appear to be a cut crease and now I'm taking a matte black color out of my 5th edition palette and I'm popping that into my outer V. Oh, and that is with a, um, they would call that a, what, a definer brush or a pencil brush. My brushes are um, a BH Cosmetics 24 piece brush set. And this I 
eyeshadow was so problematic for me because I really didn't know what I was doing. I was just going. So as you can see, one black is higher than the other one. So I have to go in and blend it out to try to correct the problem. But in the end, it looks fine. So I'm just blending, blending, blending. That's all I can do at this point because I wasn't going to take it off and start over. Now that's my um, eyeshadow base by Lancome. And I believe I speed this up like extra fast because in the majority of my videos I show how I um, apply my foundation. So that is the salmon peach color from my camouflage palette. And I'm taking my blending brush, blending brush, beauty blender, and blending it out until I realized that I did not do a highlight color. Even though this is the same color as that concealer, I wanted to set that concealer so it wouldn't budge while I was at school. And now I'm back to blending out my concealer. I use this um, salmon color to color correct and now I'm taking my darker color that was really fast uh, <laughs> I was using my darker color to put in my contour and now I'm taking a dark um, foundation from makeup forever and I added some lotion and I'm putting that into the hollows of my cheeks my temples and jawline and that's my foundation from Lancome I added lotion, mixed it together so that it can be thinner, and then I placed it um, everywhere else on my face and around my contour colors. Like I said, I speeded this up because I show in every video how I do my face. It's nothing changed. This is, um, I don't do this all the time. I was just feeling special. Took um, the lighter color, lighter beige color in my camouflage palette and did a little bit of highlighting and blended it out to have a subtle highlight. That's all. Now I'm taking my CoverGirl translucent powder to set that. Now I'm contouring my nose with a dark brown color in my BH Cosmetic Party Girl palette. And I put that in the hollows of my cheeks as well. And I'm taking a angled base brush and I'm just blending out that contour line on my cheeks and my nose. Most of the time I always end up blending out my contour of my nose with my fingers because that's the best way to do that. Now I'm taking that Black Radiance Face Powder and I'm setting the rest of my foundation. Taking my MAC blush in Fever and I was trying my best to lightly apply that. And now that is MAC's eyeshadow in Gold Mine. And um, I use that as my highlight color for today. And take my big fluffy blush to blend everything else out. That is Elf's eyeliner in Plum. And it's the liquid eyeliner. Um, I have to kind of get used to this because um, I'm used to an eyeliner pen. Like right there. The two actually touched my eye. So I have to go back and correct that with the concealer. I just took that medium brown color and then I blended it out. Set it and it's fixed. Now this is my... Maybelline Rocket Mascara. I absolutely love that stuff. It's the e.l.f. eyeliner in black. 
and that's um, some setting gel I just used that to make my eyebrows sit still take taking max Vino I use this for almost every lip color and then it's a peach color by NYX I'm not sure of the name and then um, Ruby Kisses Gold Digger and I'm blending all of that together and adding my Victoria's Secrets lip gloss now onto the hair I'm taking my one and only um, argan oil and I mixed it with um, the conditioner stuff that I use on my hair to kind of loosen up my curls. Um, you're going to see that I'm taking my hair down fairly rough but um, when I I do my hair like this at night to keep it detangled and moisturized so it's not necessarily for the style of a twist out um now that my hair is longer i don't too much wear twist outs i always undo my twist and, and style it in some kind of way so that's why it seems like i'm taking my hair down really rough and you're gonna be like oh my gosh her hair is gonna be frizzy but um i'm doing the updo style so i really don't care how i take it down because it's going to be retwisted again tonight. So, yeah. So, I'm taking a transition of my hair and I'm doing a two strand twist going to one side. I'm going to two strand twist it all the way to above my ear. And, um, I kind of fluff it up so that it can sit high. I had to retwist the ends because it was going to come loose. Um, but yeah, I have to sit it up, fix it to where it sits up high, and that'll be pinned later. Now I'm taking my wide tooth comb and I'm kind of fluffing my roots and I'm taking my dimming brush and brushing it to the side. Now I'm pinning that twist back. Taking a band and I'm placing it behind the twist and then on the opposite side of the twist I push the band up so that I can have like this side pop and um, that's the final look you guys um, this was a fairly easy look besides the trouble that I had with the eyeshadow but um make sure that you all rate comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at jazz underscore the honeybee. I love you all for watching. Bye.